My name is Stephen Farnham and I'm the owner of Stephen Farnham Pottery based in Townsend Enterprise Park in Belfast. I returned home from New Zealand in 2002 to set up my pottery in Ben Burb and I was based there for about 10 years. About two years ago I was offered an artisan residency at the University in Belfast and I moved down to Belfast at that point and it was then that I realised I needed to start making something that was actually making money. And it was at that point that I started playing about with taking the drawings, the landscape drawings from all over Ireland and transferring them onto pieces of uh, porcelain. So the process starts with uh, the pencil drawing. So I would go out and do a site visit and do a quick sketch on site, take loads of photographs. And then back in the studio, I would use a little bit of artistic license and just put my own sort of slant on the actual scene. At that point then we have the porcelain that's being prepared and we use an Irish made uh, Scarva flax porcelain clay. We find the language around porcelain you know brings an extra element of quality to what it is we're doing and how we're presenting it and the SIF fund was specifically about me developing my range of drawings and we were with the funding I was able to double the number of drawings from about 25 to almost 60 and that allowed us to tick every box every corner of Ireland and so we were trying to reach a market that existed here at home but also expats that were living over the seas. My SIF proposal was quite simple it was about developing the product range, so developing the number of landscape drawings that I had in the portfolio. We had about 25 in the portfolio before SIFT and we lifted the portfolio to about 56. Yeah, well, the innovation comes in at a very simple level and it's about how we're using the material to present our final product. Like for hundreds of years, people have been putting transfers and landscapes onto porcelain, so that element isn't actually new. But we found that the difference between presenting the drawing as just a print on a piece of paper compared to a print on a piece of porcelain that has that torn edge that feels like linen, that feels different, completely different, was the innovative element. SIF has had a massive impact on my business. Since receiving it last summer, we have moved into new premises. I've also taken on Connor as a full-time ceramic apprentice. And also just in the actual amount of work we've been able to do and the new clients we're, we're, that we're taking on board as a result. We've got clients out in the States for developing work that is selling internationally. I started with Stephen last July. I met him through a friend and was to give him a hand throwing a few bits of porcelain for a few days and before the end of the first week we decided I would stay on full time with him. My favourite part of the whole process is the making, definitely getting my hands dirty, throwing the porcelain or rolling it out. But the most exciting thing about the whole process is watching the work evolve and become something new. Every day you can see like little bits of it growing and becoming something different and changing. This time last year I didn't really have any sort of plan. I was jumping from one part-time job to another. And this project has created a full-time job for me in an industry I love that I didn't really know or see myself getting into because just because I didn't know how. And this now hopefully is the start of a very fulfilling career. We're developing the extended version of our porcelain landscapes, which SIF funded. And that is the new low relief, three-dimensional versions of the drawings. They're going to be coming on board later in the year. If, if you can find the project to fit the SIF criteria. I would highly recommend it and the Creative Industries Innovation Fund are great to work with. The guys are fantastic.